Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since you've seen me. I've had so much happen and I can't wait to catch you all up. But for now, I'm going to bring you along with me for the day. It's a new month, so it's that time when I get my bills in order, set some monthly goals, clean up another area of my house, and factor in some self-care. As the new month is knocking at the door, I'm preparing myself for unforgettable memories and all the new things to come. Cheers to a new month. Hello, November. I recently read an article that talked about the importance of monthly resets and how they help with your productivity and setting monthly goals that when accomplished become the building blocks on which you stand in the pursuit of maximizing your life. So I decided to be intentional and press the reset button this morning. I first started out in bed brainstorming and planning all the things I would like to accomplish for this month. It's not often that I get this quiet time alone where I'm not jumping out of bed and running to get to work, so I try to maximize times like these. After getting up, I started the morning off with some coffee and some reading. I've been reading the book, Ask and It Is Given, Learning to Manifest Your Desires. This is a book by Esther and Jerry Hicks, which presents the teaching of the non-physical entity, Abraham. And it helps you to learn how to manifest your desires so that you're living the joyous and fulfilling life that you deserve. Now I'm gonna make a quick breakfast before the first half of the day, which is organizing and paying all of the monthly household bills. Most months I aim in paying about 80% of the household bills so that by mid-month I can use most of that money for savings and a little bit of leisure. Now that I've wrote out some checks and paid some bills online, I head into my bedroom to clean off the mess of my clothes that have piled up on my bench near the window. I also decided to clean out a few of the drawers so that putting my clothes away would be easier. Like most people do a spring cleaning, I need to do a major winter cleaning and get rid of most of these clothes. After cleaning up, I hit the road and head to the city to get some self-care. Driving has always been therapeutic for me, so during this fall season, I enjoy seeing the browns, orange, and yellow colors of the trees. It's just so relaxing. My first stop is at Beauty Doll Spa. I've always wanted to address some of the blemishes on my face, so I finally found a place and scheduled to get a facial. I scheduled to get a vitamin facial, which is intended to remove some dead layers of skin and open up your pores so that what is being applied to the face is able to penetrate through the top layer of skin on your face. The treatment was a great experience and I can't wait to go back.
Next, since I was in the city, I decided to stop at one of my favorite thrift stores, the Urban Jungle. This thrift store has so many name brands and the prices can't be beat. In here, you'll find Nike, Adidas, Champion, Polo, Pink, Zara, and more. And usually the prices for t-shirts, sweatshirts, even jackets sometimes, range between $5 and Now it's time to get my nails and toes tended to. I've always gotten my nails done from a teenager, so for me, this is more of a self-maintenance than self-care. Oh, but getting a pedicure? Oh, that's self-care. Considering it's sometimes hard for you to tend to your feet the same way someone else can, I love the manicuring of my, my cuticles, the scrubbing of my heels, the massage of my feet and my calves, and getting gel helps to ensure my nail polish will stay nice and neat for at least six weeks. Now that I'm back home, what better way to start the month off than by doing some extreme cleaning and getting the house in order? First, I start out by cleaning the dishes from the dish drainer. Next, I clear off the counter of all the plastics that can't be recycled to put outside in a garbage bin that is for the plastics. And then I gather all the plastics that can be recycled so that later we can redeem our coins. I then wash all the dishes before wiping down the counters. Cleaning up the kitchen can be such a task at times, but it does bring me such gratification in the end to see a nice, clean kitchen.
husband and I are going to work together to put up this picture. We've been trying to fill our walls with some art decor, some pictures, and we have quite a few of them, but we just haven't taken the time to really stop, figure out where we want to put them, and then do the work to hang the pictures. So I want to work on this so that by the end of the new year, we have a lot of the artwork that we have up on our walls and we have the pictures that we have in some good locations. Now that we have the picture up, the last two things or places that I'm gonna tackle for today is our stairs in addition to my office slash closet room. The stairs are the only location that we have carpet in and it's not too often that I pull out the vacuum cleaner, but I realized after doing it this time that it made such a difference. So I will be making an attempt to every month pull out the vacuum cleaner and to vacuum these stairs. First, I put down some deodorizer and then I began to vacuum the stairs one by one. It just came out such amazing. Like there was so much dirt, so much dust uh, on the stairs. So it definitely made a difference. And then the smell just, hmm. It just did something so that was a great thing that I, I made the attempt to clean off the stairs um, it just made such a difference and then I mm, so scared to approach this but I need to begin to tackle my office slash closet room it is an extra bedroom that we have in our house and I have tried my best to dedicate that to be my office and while I have a table in here listen it's so much other stuff in this room that I don't even know where to start. First, I have a bunch of boxes that are filled with pictures, paperwork, books, textbooks from college, um, just a lot of, lot, a lot of things that I need to go through. In addition to the fact that I have a wall full of shoes that I need to either get rid of if I haven't worn them in a long time, or I need to organize them a little bit better. And then I have some bins that have clothes that again, I need to go through and I need to get rid of most of that stuff. I know, I know it looks crazy in here, but this is another area that I have avowed that I will not let the new year come in and it still looks the way it does. So considering the fact that I have two months, I have made up my mind that at least once a week on the weekends when I can, I am gonna come in here and I'm gonna begin to tackle this room little by little. It does seem like a lot, but I know if I break it down and again, tackle it little by little, I should successfully be able to uh, approach the new year and this room look completely different. I can't wait and I'm actually holding myself to it. I am making myself accountable and holding myself to, to, to fixing this room up. Anyway, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video so far, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with a friend. I look forward to making many, many more videos just like this, just like on a reset level, something different, starting over, starting anew, just really aiming for uh, making my tomorrow so much more brighter by taking active steps in my today. Bye.